But the object is to get out of that shit and to to move out of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And bring whoever you can bring with you. And yeah. sometimes, you know, some people ain't meant to come with you. How important do you think uh, investing in yourself is? Man, I I just uh man, I just I realize it's a very important, bro. It's like it, rap doing this music shit is ninety percent in investment in 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 in, in plan and ten percent talent. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be the baddest motherfucking rapper in the world. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't got the hustle and if you ain't got the the vision and the structure, you ain't going no goddamn well. So I feel like investing is important, man. You know what I'm saying? Very important. Yeah, because actually one thing that I can say that I've ran into, I've been doing, you know, messing around with music and, and, and artists for over 20 years now, is that a lot of artists have this, uh, you know, they, they feel like somebody's going to come save them, right? Yeah. Like in a sense, yeah. like something's going to come and like... Fall at your front door. Right. Uh, but even even with just work, you know, putting a little work in and getting a lot, but it's 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 almost like the, the uh, it's really a long haul game. Like you have to keep wisely investing in yourself. And consistency, consistency, and then you know, stay stay on top of it. How how important do you think that is? Um, basically, you basically have to self fund yourself in a way. You yeah, know, like man. Self uh, invest in yourself, and then then that way you'll have be able to move like you do. Yeah, because. Because, man, you know, I mean, you know, you got to be, this shit is, coming from Texas, you got to be independent, first and foremost. Coming from Houston, Texas, anywhere, independent. Ain't no goddamn Def Jams and, and fucking Sonys and shit down here. New York, you can just walk into a record label and you can get a deal if they like your shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I think a lot of people got infatuated with that facade of seeing how boys used to, hey, man, we going to go up go out of town. We're going to shop our demo. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like that for us. You know what I'm saying? It's not like that for us down here. We got to get it out the mud. And when you get it out the mud, you got to invest in yourself. We, I was selling CDs. I mean, I ain't mentioned. I done sold over 100,000 undergrounds. You know what I'm saying? Underground CDs. And we were slanging CDs. So it ain't never been easy. You always have to invest in yourself. That's the number one key point in this music shit is to invest in yourself if you want to be a part. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on uh, on just like the value system in, in, with within music? Because like you know, like you just pointed out, back in the days, they they a lot of people fell in love with the idea of like getting signed to a major label, and then you don't have to do anything. That's part of being safe, right? But, but now you know, and the reason why that I think that doesn't happen a lot now is because you know, music is not. <laughs> Excuse me, music is not selling as far as like it, it it's not a you know quick flip right, you know, for, right for labels. So now it's more of like who are you as a person and, and like you have a, basically the following is the new value. Right. Seems right. like right. Like if or if you're an influencer, that's that's a value. That and you, pop, yeah. And then you can get paid for your appearance and your and your and your value of right. influence that you have. That's just what I think. Like where we're at with with music, as far as uh, on the independent level. Yeah, you um, got to have a big following, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's just like, but you know, man. I mean, once your shit start catching fire, man, and just people start to see your vision and starting to love your shit. You know what I'm saying? And and they fall in love with it. And once you start gaining that momentum. You know, that's that's a plus, man. It's a it's a lot more independent artists out here right now, right? Because of the social media and shit like that. Because they standing on their own platform and they doing their, everything on their own. Just like we were saying earlier about investing in yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's like it's like you in control of your own destiny and you molding this shit, and you can mold that shit to that big old boulder, that big old boulder. You know what I'm saying? And it's either, you know, I mean, you done did, you done did all the leg work. And yeah. R.I.P. Right, Pimp C, baby. We got to keep this country rap tune shit going on. Smoke some bitch. Solo, so Would you know what about them Texas boys? Would you know what about this Texas boy? Smoking weed and talking no. What you know about them Texas boys? What you know about this Texas boy? 
coming down in candy toys. What you know about them Texas boys? What you know about this Texas boy? Smoking weed and talking noise. What you know about them Texas boys? What you know about this Texas boy? Coming down in candy toys. What you know about it? Can you tell me what you know about it? Came up on